Metabo HPT just released a new 36 volt brushless two gallon air compressor. This is multi-volt, so you can run it off their battery or you can use an AC adapter. Obviously, this is going to be optimized as size and recovery time for use with a pneumatic nailer, but we're going to go over all the specs on this, including testing its 17 second recovery time. We'll go over this guy top to bottom. Stay tuned. Metabo HPT's new air compressor has a full roll cage all the way around. It has a space for the battery and back. If you look here, they're kind of planning on keeping this battery size the same and it is fairly tight in here. I'm going to go over a few tips when you're using the AC adapter, but you do have a quick release on the side. It's only a single outlet. You can adjust everything based off of your gauges up front. This is going to allow you to lock in. So you pull out and you can adjust your regulator, push down to lock it in place. 135 PSI max, as you can see here, 1.6 CFM at 90, 2.3 CFM at 40. Total weight of this is 27 pounds. So it's easy to carry around. Really nice, small, compact, very square unit that's going to be very portable. Let's start some testing. So we've run this unit with the valve on the bottom open for about 20 minutes. We've let it cool down. We did that on the AC power adapter just as a break in to give it some time to wear into itself. This is an oil free unit and that is usually recommended for most. Now in this case, all we want to do here is test how long it's going to take to go from completely zero all the way to 135 PSI and turn off. So let's go. One minute, 20, one minute, 21 seconds actually is spot on for this size of air compressor running off a battery. That's very impressive. Now let's test its recovery. Per the specs, this should be right around 17 seconds. Nineteen ish seconds. Not bad. Obviously with uh, this nozzle, we could be letting out a little more air. Let's give it one more try. Right there at 19 seconds. That is not bad for a unit this size. We also do have a hose connected here, not a long one. That's going to increase a recovery time because it increases the size of the tank. It's also going to increase the amount of time that it's going to take for it to go to zero to full, which is normal. Most people are always going to have a hose connected to this while they're working. Just because it's a two gallon tank, I want to run this with a couple trim nails through just to show you how many nails you get before this actually turns on. So to give you an idea on the size of the tank, we have a 16 gauge finish nailer hooked up to a fairly short hose. That's going to give you a little bit less as far as how many nails are going to go in. Let's just put a couple in and count out how many we get till it needs to recover. So approximately eight nails and a 19 second recovery time, which is not a big deal. Metabo HPT claims that you can get 1000 nails put in with one four amp hour multivolt battery. Anytime we do a review on a smaller air compressor like this, people will ask us, can I hook up my paint sprayer to it? And maybe you could get an airbrush on this, but remember you have to stay at 1.6 CFM or lower at 90 PSI. Any of your tools are going to tell you that 2.3 CFM or lower at 40 PSI. So to give you an idea of how quickly a two gallon air tank releases, I have this unit turned off. It's full. I'm just going to use my little air gun here and we're going to drain it. We are past 60 PSI already. So there's quite a bit of air in there. It's still going, but we're down below 20 PSI at this point. 
It's quite a bit when you look at it that way, but it's going to go from 135 to maybe 100 and then it's going to kick on and run. So for something like that, you know, you're going to be running this an awful lot and everything does have its own duty cycle. With that said, you're going to have to be able to keep 90 PSI in there at all periods of time with whatever tool you're using. So this isn't going to run an impact wrench or anything like that. Well, you can fill car tires and you could use this in an office setting to blow out computers, different things like that. There's a lot of things you can do with this, but larger stuff isn't going to happen. If you have a question, leave it below. Someone will answer it and tell you if you can or can't use it, but make sure that you look at the tool that you're going to connect first to give people an idea of how many SCFM it is. Overall, this is probably one of my favorite designs in an air compressor of this size because it's very square and does have a cage all the way around it. So it's going to protect it. Some of the things that I kind of wish were a little bit better on this would be this regulator knob. Now we can turn it and it works excellent. You push it into lock, it locks it in place. Everything there is perfect. But when I turn this unit on, it vibrates around a little more than I'd like. Is that a big deal? No, but it's just one of those things that would give it a feel of a little bit more quality if it didn't do that. Now in the back, we have a four amp hour battery in here. It takes up the absolute whole area around it. There is no room for anything bigger. So if they do ever go to a larger battery, it won't fit in here. Not that that's a huge deal because I don't know that they're ever going to, but it also crowds the battery a little bit and allows them to get a little bit warmer than what they probably would because you also have heat coming off the motor. And you'll find that more when you put in the adapter. There's air that moves in here and gets pushed out here with this fan. And when you throw this guy in, it does not have a lot of room to suck the air in the sides and back out. So this fan will actually run quite often while it's inserted into the tool. Overall, I really think Metabo HPT knocked it out of the park with this one. I like that it only goes up to 135 PSI rather than some of them will go up to 200. I get why somebody wants to put that much pressure in because it, it kind of increases that time where you can use it down to 90 PSI, but then the recovery time is really extended. I think it's easier on an oil-free model to not have to go to 200 PSI. One thing that I always look at on any of these is noise. And the first thing that I see on this is Metabo HPT put some good rubber feet on the bottom and thick ones, not just something that's just there that actually works so that when you set it down, this whole cage moves and then everything inside can move and the vibrations have a chance to kind of work their way out but it quiets it down quite a bit. So compared to many others that are on the market that are battery operated, it's fairly quiet. Now I'm gonna preface that by saying there are very few of these on the market that are actually quiet. It is not quiet like many of the California Air ones that you plug in. It's fairly loud, although the, you know, the muffler in the back does well. I mean, we can just, I'm not sure how that's gonna come through on camera. Uh, you could definitely talk over it. You could communicate inside a job site. Is this, a, is this quiet? Yes, completely. It's not California air quiet, but it is still very, very quiet. I like it. I like everything about it as far as traveling, as far as grip, as far as balance when you pick it up. Everything here rocks. You don't really have a place to wind your cord around unless you just want to put it in this lower area. It doesn't have a lot of storage for anything else. It's portable, it's a small compressor that you're meant to use with a finish nailer. So I think still this is gonna be great. You're gonna haul this in, you're gonna haul your hose in, your finish nailers, you're gonna rock it out. If you're working on a car, doing something else, filling it up, you're gonna carry your stuff to it. It's small enough, you don't need to put everything together. And then there are no other ones on the market that really have storage for everything else. Everybody's going for that compact size. I like it. Love to hear your opinions of it. Leave them below in the comments. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.